Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to RC Bass and I'm Ronnie and we're back in the tackle room again. Hey, today we're going to talk about the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Series February 2021 subscription box. So I just received it in the mail the other day and we'll go through all the baits, take a look at them. I'll give you some description, pricing, comparisons, and we'll talk about the total value of the box. But hey, just recently, something happened in the monthly tackle box subscription world that I think is gonna change the entire landscape. Monster Bass just launched the Monster Bag. So they replaced the box with a reusable water resistant bag that their monthly tackle subscriptions come in. So take a look at my other video that's on the channel um, that walks you through that. It came started in February again this month and uh, we'll see how that changes the entire landscape for monthly tackle subscriptions. But hey, welcome back. Man, I'm so glad to have you with me along uh, for the February look at MTB, and I can't wait to get in there and get started. So we'll take it from here. Okay, folks, let's get started. Now listen, before we get into the box, I want you to know I did some market research. Um, and I'll make sure that I put this market research in the description so that you have access to the same information um, that I already took the time to look up on these baits in this box as we as we go through it. Um, I want to make sure you have the advantage of, of seeing the information that I'm looking at um, and so you can come to your own conclusions, do your own comparison without having to do all of the all the legwork. All right, so let's open up uh, this Mystery Tackle Box Elite for the month of February 21. All right. <clears throat> right up front, uh, we've got the What's Inside Bass Elite um, card that kind of gives you the rundown of the baits and the value, and we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Got a sticker, Tank Crossing from Catch Co. We've got a monthly spotlight, MTB Hat Guys. Uh, looks like there's some tips here on how to use a hyperglide bait. I've never heard of it before. Maybe you guys have. If you have, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you fished with it. And then here's a some tips on where to fish the bait, uh, some gear recommendations, and some other information on here. So um, that's that comes in the box as well. And then of course, you've got the dibble. Uh, this is a mainstay for Mystery Tackle Box. You got tips and tricks in here, some fun facts from Carl's, uh, six tips for fishing in tough conditions, some vertical jigging tips, um, and some other information on the back. All right, so let's get back to the contents of the box here. We'll put that right up on the top if it'll stay. We can kind of take a look at it. I don't guess it's going to, but it's all right. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the Lucky John Flat Crank. All right, this is a Lucky John original. It's a mystery tackle bait exclusive. Um, this one is priced, or, car, or a mystery tackle box says it's a $9.99 value. Now I've got a little bit of a problem with that, right? Because I went on carls.com I found the bait for $9.99, um, and that's the non-member price. But if you pay for a membership for Carl's, um, you get a discount price on this bait for $6.99. And I think the annual membership is like $34, $35 um, to get those discounts throughout the year. I don't know if I would pay $10 for this bait if I was just buying it off the shelf. Um, but, you know, it is on their website for that price, $9.99. Um, so really, the pricing is, is according to their website. Now this is a flat side crankbait, probably has a pretty tight wobble. Um, kinda looks like your standard flank, flat crank. There was not a color on this box. It is a Model 60 DRF. Um, and runs, it's a two, 2 2.4 inches, four tenths of an ounce in weight, and runs five to nine feet. Not a bad looking bait, I like the color on it. Looks like a uh, crawfish, maybe an orange, 
uh, kind of sunburst and crawfish color. Let's see if it's got a, it's got a rattle. So definitely would catch fish, um, no doubt. So not a bad color either. Okay. So let's go on to the next bait in the box. You've got the Rattling Google Eye Swing Football Jig um, by Kalins. Um, now I found this bait on Tackle Warehouse for $7.69. Uh, Mystery Tackle values it at $7.99. Um, <clears throat> so pretty close in price. And um, this is a 7 16 ounce, has a shockwave rattle system in it. I couldn't think I can hear the rattle in there slightly. And again, it's a swing football jig. Uh, you could probably use this on your favorite plastic bait. Um, you can cast it, jig it, rig it, rip it, slow steady retrieve on the bottom. Uh, probably fish this a bunch of different ways. Um, I'm not sure the size of the hooks on there it looks pretty big probably a four or five watt hook um, and they're black okay not too bad all right next we have the Guggen squad banger um, and I found this uh, Carl's or actually on uh, mystery tackle box values this one at $7.99 um, and of course I found it on carls.com for $7.99 and, and this is a collaboration bait with, with Catch Company. Um, it's two, two and quarter inch in length, three eighths ounce, uh, runs two to five feet. And the color on this is probably a sexy shad. If I had that. Yep, sexy shad. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, sexy shad. Not a bad color. Okay, next up, we have a Ducket BD Series um, crankbait. Now, I couldn't find this bait anywhere on Tackle Warehouse or um, even on the Ducket website. So, I think that this bait is a discontinued bait. Um, I'm not real thrilled about that, but it's not a bad looking bait. Um, so, this bait you know of course was designed and tested by Boyd Duckett he's a four-time BASS uh, tour winner and he's a Bassmaster Classic champion so it's not a this is not a bad bait um, probably runs 10 to 12 feet you know 10 to 12 feet has katana hooks and split rings and the color on this is a gun metal shad so again not a bad looking bait by no means, but I do believe it's a discontinued bait. And of course, has a pretty, pretty solid rattle to it. Nice colors. Got some chartreuse on the bottom. Not a bad looking bait. All right, next up, let's see what else we have here. We have the 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug. Okay. Um, the Sakoshi bug on Carl's and, and Mystery Tackle Box value is, um, I believe it was $5.29. Yep, $5.29. Man, sorry, I lost my place there for a second. Um, and again, this is another bait from, from Catch Company. Two and a half inch. Uh, in length probably like a twitch bait um, specifically I think you'd fish this on a Ned rig I think is probably the the best way to fish it maybe the only way to fish it um, it has high buoyancy is what the the bait description says and it remains upright of course on the Ned rig uh, you could probably fish this around riprap throw it under a dock um, and have pretty good success on this especially when the bites tough maybe in the dog days of summer or when the water's colder and uh, the, the reaction slows down um, and this color is a blue craw <clears throat> pretty interesting bait I've never fished with these before but I have heard about them so anxious to give those uh, a try okay 
Next up, we have the Savage Gear 4D Crawl. Um, this is a pretty, pretty cool looking bait. I don't think I've ever seen this bait before. Um, it is on um, Mystery Tackle Box. The value of the Savage 4D Crawl is $4.99. Um, I found this on Carl's for $4.99. I found it actually on the Savage site for $5.99. And for Bass, you know, on Bass Pro for six ninety nine, so uh, pretty good value, even even at um, you know the the MTB value of um, four ninety nine. That's that's probably a really good value on these baits. There's a five piece in here, um, and again, this crawl is three inches scented bait. Um, it says it has a sticker inside, um, so I'm interested to see where that sticker's at. Maybe that's it right there. And then um, also, um, let's take a look here. Let's see what they look like out of the package if we can get them open. Oh, yeah. So you can kind of get a look at that bait, put it under the spotlight there, and see if that gives you any better view of the bait. Pretty lifelike. Definitely has a has some kind of scent on it. Okay, not bad looking bait. Next we have the uh, Lucky John 3D Macora Shad Tail. Uh, it's a four inch bait, six pieces, um, and this is another mystery tackle bait exclusive bait. I mean, it's a finesse bait you can fish on a on a jig head probably drop shot Carolina rig it um, and there's no color on this bait but it looks to be like a motor oil type color um, <clears throat> so uh, the mystery tackle box value of this bait is uh, $4.99 now I have a little bit of a problem with the price on this bait as well I went out and looked on um, Carl's and this bait has been reduced in price it's a clearance bait um, it's now down to $2.99. So, you know, you've got a little bit difference in value there of about two bucks difference. Um, you know, and again, $5 for a six piece bait is not bad, I suppose. But uh, like I said, it's been marked down to $2.99. So I kind of feel like this is a clearance bait. So, so far we've got one discontinued bait, what I believe to be a discontinued bait, and one clearance bait in this box. Um, all right, so let's move on here. The next we have the Catch Company Tightrope Baby Firework Super Jig. That's a whole lot of um, words to, to name a jig or describe it. Um, these this jig is valued at four twenty nine in the box. Um, I went out and looked on Carl's. It's currently selling for five ninety nine on Carl's.com. So um, maybe we got a dollar of the two dollars that we that you know. Um, we're overpriced on the Macora Shad Tails. Maybe we got a dollar of that value back on, on the tightrope. And we'll talk about the overall value of the box here um, at the end. So this is a quarter ounce finesse jig. Um, it says it has a hand tied skirt. I really haven't popped it open to look at. It does have a bait keeper on it. You probably can't see it through the packaging, but it does have a bait keeper on the hook. And it's a pretty compact jig. Um, looks to be like a two or three aught hook. And then this color, I believe it, yeah, green pumpkin and blue. Um, so one of those, you know, pretty frequently used colors. I like it though. I mean, it's a, it's a definitely a compact finesse jig. Um, and I like the finesse jig fish. Okay. The next thing in the box next up is the net bait. Um, and the net bait um, pack of slims were valued at $4.29. In the in the box and um, I found them for $4.29 on tackle warehouse so that value for those baits was was spot-on it's a three and a half inch Okeechobee flare is the color and it's a seven pack so it is a full pack of um, baits and it, it's a pretty unique bait it looks like it's uh, blue on the back or on the the belly side of the bait on the top it looks to be like a uh, green uh, pumpkin maybe and then it has some blue tips on on the pinchers so it's got some really cool colors on it 
so probably when you hop that bait up um, you get a look at that underbelly that flash of glitter the blue underbelly um, and then you see the kind of the pinch, pinchers flap as the bait come, falls back down so a pretty unique color on that bait it's definitely one I'll, I'll try out on the next trip out on the boat and uh, yep Okeechobee flare blue with flake okay all right and then we've got a pack of spear point hooks now I believe that I saw this exact same pack of hooks in the monster bag that I unbagged uh, for the month of February um, you can go back and watch that video if you'd like and, and see if I'm correct or incorrect. But the spear point hook seemed to be one of those um, hooks that whomever uses them, they brand them with their brand and put them in their, um, in their bag or box. Um, so I think this is a two-pack, three-aughts. Um, in, the, in the Monster bag, it was a, an assortment. I believe it was a two, three, and four-aught hook in a, um, a three-pack variety. Um, and these were valued at $1.80. It's 90 cents a hook. I mean, I, I guess for two hooks, you know, it's like a do almost a dollar a hook. I probably wouldn't pay that, but hey, that's that's the part of the getting these boxes. You get some things that you wouldn't normally buy or pay for um, at a value, and then you get the fun of unboxing to kind of see what's in the box as well. Okay, so let's talk about the overall value of the box. Um, so here's some side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, so in this box, the total cost for the box normally is $39.99 a month for $40 a, box, a month for the Elite box. I got $10 off the first box, so it was $29.99 was, was my cost. The Mystery Tackle Box total value of the baits, um, when you look at the card, is $59.61. So at a regular cost of $39.99, that's an additional value um, above cost of $19.62. So that's not, if you're paying full price for the box, that's still not a bad deal. Um, with my $10 off the first box, and I'll leave a code for you guys in the description um, below so that you can get $10 off your first order for Mystery Tackle Box. That brings the value above cost to $29.62. So, so that means in total, I, I received about $60 in baits for a $30 investment. I think that's a pretty good deal any day. Uh, you can't go wrong at that price point, even, even with what I believe to be one discontinued bait in the box um, and then one clearance bait. I mean, you know, baits clear out and they, they get marked up and down. Uh, you really can't. Uh, put that on on Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box too much. I mean, they have to clear inventory to bring in new baits so they can bring them to us. So I kind of understand some of that. All right, so that does it for this unboxing. Um, and man, I'm really excited. I've got plenty of unboxings to do for you guys. I've got more subscription boxes. I've got some uh, uh, plastic storage uh, solutions coming up. I've got some uh, stuff I want to do with you for, from Yolo Tech. Flambeau, um, tackle storage solutions, lure lock, uh, plenty of, of great content coming up and I can't wait to share that with you. So um, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can, you can receive um, notifications when we have new content and put new videos out on the channel. Um, make sure you leave some comments below. Let me know what you like and don't like about the videos, what, what you find in your mystery tackle box um, and what, what kind of value you're getting out of your subscription. And then, um, you know, if you want to see me do other unboxings or review different products, just let me know by leaving a comment um, down below. All right, so that does it. Until we talk again, everyone stay safe, stay healthy, have fun out on the water, tight lines, and hook them up.